Hey guys, Pork and Bunny's back here with another diecast review. This is my third attempt at trying to make this video, so hopefully this one goes well. So today I have an RCA Elite, and it is from 2009, and I know I haven't done these reviews in a while, but I won some auctions on eBay, and this one is one I've wanted in my collection for a long time. So you see the box, RCA Elite, uh, RCA Elite, RCA Elite, be careful here. Bottom, you see. Focus, come on. Tony Stewart, 2009. Burger King. Sorry, it's not focusing right now. I know you can't see it too well, but this is Tony Stewart, Burger King, 2009 Impala SS, Elite, one of 303, which is one of the lowest numbers in my collection. Flip it back around. Things that come with it in the box are, of course, certificate of authenticity. Uh, again, 14, Tony Stewart, Motorsports Authentics. I have number 89 of 303. So, yes, this car is Tony Stewart's 2009 Burger King uh, Chevy Impala. Again, first year of Stewart Haas. And he got the win at Daytona in this car. Comes with that. Congratulations on your purchase. And of course comes with a sleeve for your car if you ever want to take it out. It helps with the dust a little bit. And then another thing it comes with is the radio antenna, which is just how detailed these elites are. So take open up the box a little bit there. Back of the box you see all the details with the elite cars. Okay, so starting at the front of the car, you see Impala SS, Chevrolet. Stuart Haas Racing and number 14 in kind of the cool blue and orange font. On top of the hood you see Burger King and let me open up the hood for us here. Look at this detail on these old elites. It is crazy especially compared to what we have now. Uh, so you see Burger King on top of the hood. You see the tillers, tethers I mean. Sorry. I'm trying to get the focus for you all of you. Focus. Okay, well, I don't think it's going to focus too well. But inside the engine, you can see all the parts. And yes, it says Chevrolet. And yeah, just a lot of detail. Uh, the tethers are always a bonus. Definitely really, really cool. I don't have too many Elites in my collection. So getting this one, uh, especially in as an Elite, is just extra awesome. Going down the side of the car, you see all the contingencies. You see Goodyear Gatorback, Moog, Comp, Edelbrock, Raybestos, and Sunoco. See Goodyear right above the tires, Goodyear Eagle on the tires, and of course the Elites come with metal rims instead of plastic, unlike the standard ones. Zoom out a little bit here. You see NASCAR race car, Sprint Cup Series, Coors Light, Pole, Commit, Autometer, Denso, Jessel, Stant, k and Jags, EA Sports, Mac Tools, 3M, Dow, USG Sheetrock, DirecTV, Mechanicsver, and Holly HP Carbs. Going down the side of the car more, you see smoke on top of the name rail, number 14, Office Depot Old Spice. On the poster, you see, I don't know why it's not wanting to focus. I'm not used to using a camera for these, so that could be the issue. This is not wanting to focus, but anyway, going down the pillar, it says... Coca-Cola, Burger King, U.S. Army, Bass Pro Shops, and Haas Automation. And again, you see Smoke, Old Spice Office Depot, Have It Your Way, Burger King, Old Spice up on the pillar there. And this is before they had the uh, American Ethanol decal around the fuel tank, which I like better. Not a big fan of the green around it. Back of the car. Again, I can't take this out of the box because I haven't unscrewed it yet. Office Depot, Old Spice, Have It Your Way, Chevrolet Bowtie, Burger King, and number 14 on the taillight there. Up on top you see Burger King, and of course the serial number, number 89. And through the back you can see just some of the detail on the inside. Very, very cool. Very, very detailed. And yes, the trunk does open. Again with the tethers and the fuel tank. Definitely some great detail in these old elites. I think they're way better than we have now. 
So yeah. And I can't do the other side of the car very well. But we can try to fit it like this. So you see Burger King have it your way. Very similar to the other side of the car. Exactly the same. And yes, the roof flaps open. They're a little pain to get open. But see, they also have the tethers. I can't get the other one open. But that's fine because it'll sit on my shelf. So Yeah, just really, really, really great, great detail on these old elites. Uh, so the story on this one is that I actually looked on eBay because I've been wanting this car for a long time. I know a lot of people like his one with the flames on it, and then he did it to that ugly orange one. This is the best one in my opinion. I like how simple it is, I like how plain it is, and yeah. So the story is on eBay, I saw an auction with one. And on eBay currently, I mean throughout the years, I've seen these go for anywhere from 100 to $250, uh, if not more. And it's because they only made 303 of them, so... But yeah. But anyway, I found a guy that was selling his. Uh, I think he wanted 75 for the buy it now price. Uh, but I offered him 50 with two minutes left. And he took it. Uh, I think he just wanted to get rid of it. He might must be shrinking down his collection a little bit. So I got it for 50 bucks plus $5 shipping. So I only got it for $55, which is a heck of a deal in my opinion. This is one of the diecasts I've wanted for years and years, and I regretted not buying it when they made it. And then on top of that, getting an elite version, that's that seals the deal for me there. I mean, that is one of the best diecast purchases I've ever made, easily. And then also on eBay, I've had some good luck on some other auctions. I did win an auction with Kurt Busch's 2009 Miller Lite, 2009 Miller Lite Dodge Charger, and I got that one. For $24 plus $10 shipping, so it came to like $34. Which again, it is an Elite, so that's another heck of a deal there. And that's also one of the ones I've wanted in my collection. I love the blue on blue. And then just yesterday, Tony Stewart at Chicago used to race those back to school paint schemes. I won his 2009 back to school Office Depot Chevrolet for $10.50. Plus $11 shipping, so really only like $21, $22. So, yeah, my collection's growing. Uh, I think I'm only going to get Elites if I can. Because there's some really, really, really good deals out there on eBay. And if you, I know people want all the new 2019 ones and all that, but the quality's gone so down. And personally, I like these cars of tomorrow. I wasn't a big fan of the Gen 6 ever, and I think these look way better. But yeah, so definitely expect more diecast to come soon. Um, I'll do a review on the Kurt Busch one, and I'll do a review on the Stewart one, and if I get any others. But yes, I had to share this one. It's one I've wanted for many, many years, and I got it. So check that off my list, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you like. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the notifications. And comment below. I like hearing your guys' feedback and thoughts. And yeah, if you have any video ideas, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.